What is going on YouTube? My name is Brent and welcome to part 14 of my tutorial series on how to create the game Flappy Birds. So in this tutorial we're actually going to be talking about music and sound effects so if you're interested in that go ahead and stick with me. So I got two things here. First is a music uh, mp3 file. We're going to use that for our music, our background music. And then the second one is a OGG file that we'll use for a sound effect, okay? So the music is like this. Hope, you, hope that wasn't too annoying. And the sound effect is this one. So with all that said, let's dive into the code. Um, you can see that I have a music.mp3 and a sfxwing.ogg file inside of my Android assets folder. And we're actually going to be working or starting working on our Flappy demo class, which is pretty much the main class of our uh, libgdx project. And we're going to use the music in this class because I want the music to be run at the menu and then throughout all the different play states as they keep recreating. It's just going to be a continuous music file. And this would be a good time to tell you the difference between what libgdx considers a music file and a sound file or how they work actually. A sound file is loaded into RAM and ran from the RAM. Now a music file is streamed from the disk. So large uh, sound or music files need to be music in libgdx and small short little clips can be sounds uh, just for resource management. So inside of our flappy demo, let's go ahead and create a private music and call it music, I guess. And then down here, we'll say music equals uh, gdx.audio.newmusic and then we give it the music file so it's uh, gdx.files.internal and then we just give it the path which is music.mp3 now we can play around with this music just a little bit let's go ahead and set music dot set looping to true it's gonna just continuously loop around and then music dot set volume to a float which I'll put at 0.1 F now one is a hundred percent volume and 0.1 would be 10 percent volume so you can adjust it how you want and then I'm gonna set music dot play here so we'll go ahead and start it as soon as our game starts and then we also, anytime we uh, music or sound files need to be disposed when the game is complete, basically, or you're done with that uh, sound. So we'll go ahead and right here, I'll go ahead and generate my override dispose method here. And down below, we'll say music.dispose. And there we have it. So with a quick test here, you can see that the music is playing. Now let's go into the bird class and we'll create our little flap effect or flap sound. So we'll create a private sound and we'll use the bad logic sound and we'll call it flap, I guess. And so down here we'll say flap equals new or no, sorry, gdx.audio.new sound and then we say gdx.files.internal and then we're going to give it the what was the name of this file here really quick it's sfx sfx wing dot ogg original it always makes me think of original gangster so anyway there we go now inside of our jump class here or jump method sorry we'll say uh flap dot play and there we go and then when we dispose of our bird We'll also do a, um, let's see, this is looking weird, but we'll do flap.dispose. Let's make sure this is, there we go, much better. Flap.dispose. So moving along to test it. So that sound effect was a little loud. So inside of our play, uh, method here we can say 0.5 f and that tells the volume for that instance of the play uh, so we can just set it to uh, half half sound so let's test it again see if there's a significant difference I think I've already 
listen to this one and this one sounds a little bit better so there we go we did it so I think we'll go ahead and cut it there for this video. I hope you guys learned something. We talked about the differences between sound and music in LibGDX and those differences being that sound is run from the RAM and music is streamed from the disc. And we also talked about how to implement sound and music and play those sounds inside of our game. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. If you check out my Patreon page uh, and donate, then I give you two big thumbs up for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.